just landed in Chicago O'Hare where we will be filming the first non-Boston startup. So get excited. We'll be talking cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, decentralized networks. So subscribe below before we get started. Startup 19, woo! Special guest today is actually my brother, Joe Kunzler. He recently started Alpha Coin Capital, which has a lot to do with cryptocurrency, blockchain technology, decentralized networks. Um, a lot of things you might be hearing about that are trending right now. What's the value proposition of Alpha Coin Capital? We provide access to the uh, cryptocurrency and digital asset markets for investors that don't have the technical skill time uh, or knowledge to be able to um, get into these. Participate. Participate. You're essentially hedging bets on decentralized networks, which we'll talk about, and if they will succeed or not. And, and part two of the value proposition is able to store money, very, the, the currencies, very safely offline which is one of the biggest problems in this space right now, people losing money. For those of you who have a difficult time understanding what a decentralized network is, you almost have to picture a lot of the companies that we know today, like the Spotify's, Uber's, Airbnb's of the world, as if there weren't those... Centralized entities. Yeah, centralized parties in the middle. So like if Spotify wasn't in the middle of you wanting to share music. And that's kind of how these decentralized networks are and exist and that's the idea is that the future won't have those middle parties, those intermediaries. How are you finding the different cryptocurrencies that you want to invest in or invest other people's money in? It's, it's very much like doing due diligence when you're, you're you know, trading typical stocks, equities mm -hmm. uh, that, that some of you in the finance world are familiar with, but the due diligence involves source code, mm -hmm. it involves uh, video calls with engineers, it involves actively participating in these de decentralized networks because um, you need to understand how they work and how they function. Exactly. And if they're running well. If they're running well, um, testing the software. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as they're updating the code, it's all open source. I'm reading the code. I'm asking the engineers questions, and then also be able to assess, you know, how big is the market for this product that they're trying to produce. Uh, one quick example, there's there's some uh, interesting teams doing decentralized cloud storage right now. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, cloud storage is, I think, a 20 to $25 billion industry globally. Uh, by 2020, it's expected to be $75 billion. So what you do um, on the economic side is you look at the, the total amount of currency that, that these guys are, are creating, and you take that and you look at the market capitalization, uh, and you have to kind of try to evaluate you know, how much of that market share do you think that they're going to be able to take from uh, anything that currently exists right now? In the last six months, I think the cryptocurrency market capitalization has about doubled, maybe tripled. Mm -hmm. uh, and our personal portfolios, we've been able to do about uh, 11 or 12x. 12 yeah, 12x. So, so mm -hmm. we're, we're outpacing the market by... Uh, A significant amount. Yeah, 400% plus. I think a lot of people's hesitation with getting involved with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is like A, fear of unknown. Most people don't know how to like mine this cryptocurrency and B, the volatility. It's not a stable currency right now. So what would you say to those people? Uh, I would say for the moment, um, look at it as a store of value and an investment. In the future, uh, you know, these things are going to be very transactional and you'll be able to use them in your day to day life. We're not there yet though, and that's kind of the value proposition of, of the firm. Any emerging market uh, is going to be volatile when it starts, and, and that's just kind of how economics work. Why did you want to start Alpha Coin Capital? I really believe that these, these, this technology is going to make the world better. You know, the old model um, of software development was, okay, we're going to keep all this in-house, we're not going to share any software with anybody, our team is going to build this. I mean, yeah. think of how more, how much more quickly you can build things. Something with a team, and also how much better you can make the technology. Why decentralized networks? Why is that important to you? Because it's more than just like manage, moving money around for cryptocurrency. Right. There's obviously a much larger story behind it. Totally. Um, at, at this stage, it's it's so early in the game that yeah, it, it looks like we're just in investing in um, in money, but but. Uh, 
The analogy I like to use is like before the internet, before it really took off in the in the mid '90s. People probably thought the same thing about trading internet equities. Then you realized there's actually products behind these things that are going to be useful. Um, you've got you know cloud storage uh, networks that are doing it for ten times, twenty times, thirty times cheaper than Google or Amazon can do it. You know, third world countries where the, the, the government and the leadership completely manipulate the currency supply and oppress the people. This is a way for those people to say, we don't need your, your money. We, we have... Take the power back. Right. There's one network in particular, uh, WeTrust, that I'm invested in. Uh, they're a decentralized global credit union. And so the other day I had an Uber driver who was telling me his story. He's got two kids, guy who works 70 hours a week driving Uber wants to go to school to be an electrical engineer, uh, but he can't get a loan. Nobody will give him a loan. He was never taught how to get a loan. He has kids to feed. And so he just, right now, you know, he's only got 10 banks that you can go to. Mm -hmm. Nobody will loan him any money. With a decentralized credit, global credit union, instead of having just 10 big banks that you can go to for a loan to, you know, go to school, do whatever you want, you all of a sudden get access to millions and millions of people globally, almost like a, a Kickstarter or a crowdfund, who, can lend who, are, who are willing to lend money. Like, and I think, you know, if, if the entire world can really work on what they're passionate about, uh, you know... The like entire the, world would be a way better place, the entire, and happier place. Right, the, the world would be happier, the world would be better, the mm -hmm. economy would be more efficient, and uh, so it's, it's just something that I'm, I'm very, very passionate about, this technology.